Welcome back to Frostpunk. Now we have version 1.5.0. New scenario, The Last Autumn. The Empire is collapsing under the strain of climate catastrophe, yet no one is ready to admit it openly. A secret project to build the generators is put into motion. The changes in the patch is that we get the new scenario. We also get a new endless mode variant called the Builders, which I do not know what is. Uh, many small additions, improvements and fixes. We have two new Book of Laws chapters with 51 laws and several unique gameplay mechanics. Three new resource types. 31 new structures, including parts of the generator. Then we have the new mechanics in the last autumn. Generator construction. Step by step, build the generator from scratch. Work safety. If it is too low, workers in the construction site will get sick or injured and may even die in catastrophic ac accidents. People will go on strikes now. Not sure what I think about that. Caused by bad working or living conditions, they can bring construction to a halt, forcing difficult choices on you. Toxic gases venting from the generator shaft, they affect the whole construction site. We have docks that unload ships, bringing vast amounts of resources. We have a telegraph station, which is our lifeline to the homeland and the only way to call in reinforcements. Convicts, a cheap and obedient workforce requiring constant surveillance. And foragers, we can send them out to the map to map the land and find the quickly dwindling food sources. New mechanics in the builders are generator construction, where we can erect a new generator receiving no support from the homeland. Then we have rushed construction, when storm threatens the generator, dodge the attack by finishing the construction stage before it hits. And finally, generator flaws. Once you turn on, turn the generator on, all the faults caused by rushed construction will come to the surface. So I'm going to do this blind. I don't know if that's going to be a good idea, because this is probably going to be the most difficult map in the game so far. Um, but that should be fun. The Empire is collapsing under the strain of climate catastrophe, yet no one is ready to admit it openly. A secret project to build the generators is put into motion. We will play on medium. Not sure if that's a good idea on this one. But uh, that's what we'll do. Boom. So I wonder if there's a video on this one? Probably. A lot of new things to uh, take care of. Personal Journal of Euphemia McLaughlin. Assistant Engineer at Imperial Exploration Company. It's been five weeks since we have left the familiar walls of Birmingham behind. Weeks of uncertainty, of struggle, of hope. And finally, we have reached the shores. We had three deaths so far. Or, small price for progress, as I.E. Seed called it. I can only hope I am going to avoid their fate. They've claimed there was nothing to fear. That this whole journey of ours was just a precaution. But now, it feels like the weather is changing. And the winter, the winter seems inevitable. Indeed. The last autumn, we crossed the rough northern seas to reach Site 113, where we are to build the greatest marvel of technology, a generator. Your crew, lured by the promise of a steady job and eager to leave the work riots and bread queues behind, are somewhat taken aback at the sight of the desolate landscape surrounding the site. They were told not to ask for details, and there is no turning back now. 
There is no consensus why this contract has such a high priority, considering the deteriorating situation of the Empire. But your superiors are clear. This is the most important job of your life. For Queen and Country. This is weird, seeing green landscape in Frostpunk. Basic facilities. Before you start building the generator, you have to set up the basic supply infrastructure. This means building the docks and gathering the resources piling up by them. You'll also need a raw food source, the fishing harbour, or a forager's camp set up by a food source somewhere in the plains. Okay, let's pause the game so I can get my bearings here. We have 90 workers, of which 75 are actually workers and 15 are engineers. Um, we have a little bit of wood, steel. We have some raw food, uh, but no rations. We have no steam cores. Structural profiles. Steel composites, steam exchangers. It is actually plus 10 degrees. Imagine that. And there doesn't seem to be any incoming weather change. We have stockpiles. Oh, we can actually gather steam cores here. Uh, we can build tents. We can build a medical post. We can build a cookhouse, we can build resource depot and gathering post, and we can build a workshop. We cannot, however, build something to gather food with, research and build docks. Okay, so we need to... we need... Um, workshop fairly quickly then um, okay so we can't build anything inside that area this is very different um, where can we build a road then don't have that much um, wood currently. We can build a road like that, so I can build a cookhouse there. And then I guess we need to set workers on starting to gathering wood and steel, first and foremost. We take a look at the laws. Oh dear. Um... Chapel. People need a place to practice our faith in peace. New building chapel. People living nearby will gather to pray, which will raise their motivation. But we will have to build a chapel. And we have the public house, which is the same as in the regular game. We have hearty meals, where we actually can serve tastier and more nutritious food to motivate our people, but that will require more raw food to prepare. That gives us the new recipe hearty meal, which will be available in cookhouses, and eating hearty meals will increase motivation every day. Or we can oppose that with gruel instead, which of course uh, will uh, feed more people with the same amount of raw food, however it will decrease motivation, increase discontent, and eating will also cause discontent. Then we have the bathhouse. Bathhouses would protect our people from sickness by promoting cleanliness and healthy habits. Um, this one gives us the bathhouse building. People living near that are less likely to fall ill. Motivation will rise slightly, but then we will have to build a bathhouse. And we have the Radical Treatment versus Sustain Life. We also have on-site burials. 
where we will have to build a cemetery or we can repatriate bodies where we will have to build a morgue The morgue seems better than the uh, cemetery in terms of um, sending them back to England won't decrease motivation. Company funerals. Well, I think I'll leave the laws alone for now. a huge coal pile. Don't have enough uh, resources to build anything, so I don't, I can't see any. Um, there might be steel there, but I'm not sure. Uh, there are two huge coal piles here. But I can't see any, um... We're talking about foragers. There's a shipwreck out there. We should also build a workshop. First steps. Sir, our employer, the Imperial Exploration Company, has prepared the site for us. Besides digging the enormous shaft for the underground part of the generator, we left some construction materials behind to get us started. We should set up camp and clear the area around the shaft to make space for the construction facilities. Yes. I think I would be able to build a woodcutter or something, but uh, doesn't appear like that. Put some engineers in here. Profiles manufacturer allows us to build a profiles manufacturer that produces structural profiles required to build the generator. And we have the forager's quarters. That's probably something we need. We have the docks, a faster gathering, and we have a sawmill. Turns frozen trees, while well, they aren't frozen yet. Um, let's get the foragers' quarters first. do need homes for these people. That's going to be expensive. Problem is, as long as that wood pile is there, apparently I can't build... Oh, I can. I just didn't have enough wood. I have no idea where we are to build the docks. I guess we can build the houses there and then we can uh, 
remove that little bit that I put up there. Idle hands. As the first, first workday ends, people start gathering in small groups to chat or play cards. A couple of workers are throwing rocks down the huge central shaft. Deep, ain't it? And to think we have to work down there. Out of boredom, or maybe to exercise their fears, more workers join in. Soon, rocks start raining down the hole. This might be dangerous, but the camp offers very little entertainment. Have to stop them from doing that. Since we don't have anything else to do, we might as well just put workers in these uh, buildings until we have uh, something more productive to do. The engineers apparently are not interested in working in uh, gathering. So we'll set the engineers to make food instead then. bizarre that they don't go to sleep at night but two of the homeless people have fallen ill people got a cold sir a few of our people got a cold from sleeping on the ground they weren't sleeping uh, we should provide them with some kind of accommodations if only because this might impact our efficiency in the long run provide some shelter we need to build three more tents. That shouldn't be a big problem. Choo choo. Can build another tent right away. Forager's quarters have been researched. Guess we should do the docks next. And we need to get foragers up very quickly. It requires 35 wood. Probably sh should get 40 wood then. Can build a road. Build a road like that. Is that on the same axis, I wonder? Let's do this and pause, and then I can get a road out there. 
This will be a quite the temporary road though. And stop that. And then build a forager's quarters. There. We also need a medical post. 25 wood. I have to pass some kind of blow because this is uh, not ideal at all. Is there some way for me to get to the... Um... No, that doesn't, doesn't appear. I missed the work overtime. I missed that. Bathhouse is way too expensive. Chapel. Sign that. We have four days to build it, so that should be fine. I guess we need a sawmill, but we need ten wood for that, and we don't have that until next morning, because everyone stops working at six. This is definitely going to be a challenge. There is no doubt about that. Foragers, we need 20 wood and 10 steel and 15 workers to make one unit of foragers. Oh boy. Basic docks is 25 wood. Reality check. As the camp wakes up under the dark under dark rain clouds, the mood among our people turns gloomy. Nobody told us we'll be sent to the end of nowhere, they grumble. There is nothing for us to do here but work. And they're going to stay a while in this remote, cold, miserable place. If you don't keep their motivation up, the efficiency will suffer. Motivation will fall each morning. Let's see what we can do. Well, I already signed the chapel law, so we just need to build a chapel. That's, uh... That's going to be empty soon anyways. They don't start working until 8. There, sawmill. Chapel costs thirty ten. We can't oh no, we don't have to. I just need twenty wood then. we go foragers let's send them to the reindeer tracks numerous reindeer tracks lead towards a dark point on the horizon
Yeah, we definitely need that sawmill up and running. We can pass a new law. Evening service. That's probably a good idea. 15 hours left on that one, so I actually have to build two tents. One there and one there. Oh, to build another tent. Um, this is not ideal. Sawmill has been researched. How much does that cost to build? Ten wood. Okay, we have to build a sawmill here. Shelter promise fulfilled. Everyone needs a roof, if only a flapping one over their head. Your people look forward to well-deserved rest. Motivation rises. Foragers have reached the reindeer tracks. A partially eaten reindeer carcass carcass lies in a circle of trampled blood-stained earth the tracks lead further move on uh, hunting grounds and nesting place let's go to the hunting grounds two days left for the uh, chapel This gives us 32. Let's uh, remove 10 workers from this pile of steel and put them in here. Because wood is what we need, not metal at the moment. I like that choo-choo sound. Um, we do have docks, so let's build the docks then. How big is this chapel? Okay, so... I think we need to build the docks first. Yeah, they, they, these are quite basic indeed. Tiny. Let's uh, tear this one down. Skeptic. You overhear two workers arguing over the reality of the global cooling. You really believe this is end of the world rubbish? Me? I'm just here for the money. When we're done with this mad scheme, I can move my family out of St. Giles. Well, then you're a fool, because all, you'll all die when the frost comes. He turns to you. Ain't it the truth, sir? Um, so the science says motivation will rise slightly.
Um, drawing boards requires 50 wood, so that's completely out of the question currently. I feel that most of these things are like, okay, the profiles manufacture is probably nice, but we're not going to build it anyway, so let's just conserve the wood for now. Forages have reached the hunting grounds. Numerous animal tracks cover the gentle banks of the stream. Watering place. The gentle banks of this swiftly flowing stream form a convenient watering place. We could set up camp here for some time to hunt animals coming for water. Um, a watering place visited by many animals. 80 raw food every one days. Let's set up camp. They'll be working for four days. We have less than a day left of rations, so yeah. Steel pile depleted. Good, then they will go deconstruct that. Wood pile depleted. Let's build a chapel there. And I guess we can build another sawmill as well. Yes, we can build two tents out there. I don't want to... Um, ...build in the forest itself. How many homeless do we have? 30. So let's build the final one then. We can also tear down this one. Then build a final tent there. That will destroy some of the trees, but it's fine. I want the chapel coverage to all of the tents for the motivation. Wood pile depleted. Let's try to deplete this steel pile as well. Guess we can research the profiles manufacturer. Choo choo. Chapel has been erected, giving people a place to pray together and find comfort in faith. Motivation rises. Then we can do the evening service. Cost us 20 food rations. I don't think so. We need workers in the docks. Use wood pile. Question is where? Workers in that sawmill. Can we make more? No. can do that, though. We can pass a new law. Um, we haven't had anyone die yet. Public house, let's go with that. Attention. Regulations change. 
regulations change. A pub, just like in London. We could call it the hole. I wouldn't be surprised if the wood pile ends up over there. Speaking of which, I actually think we need to put it on steel instead, because um, we only have this 19 and 80 there left. While we have three sawmills. Choo choo. Let's build a public house. Indignant engineer. An engineer complains to you. Sir, it seems I've been mistakenly lodged in a tent full of workers. Now, you see, I don't have anything against workers, but they're quite loud and, well, they sort of smell. Could you make sure that I get moved to an, to an engineer's tent? No, we have to make do. Guess we could also build another workshop. Telegraph station. Now that we have built the basic resource infrastructure, we can set about bringing more people and steam cores from England. To do this, we have to build the telegraph station. Here comes a ship. That looks quite cool, actually. Ah, isn't so bad then. Um, let's build a gathering post. Profiles manufacturer has been researched. Let's then get the drawing boards because now we have plenty of wood. Two days of food. They're almost done with that, good. You can pass a new law. Bare knuckle bouts. Nothing relieves tension better than watching a few rounds of an all-out slugfest. After introducing this law, another one can be passed out of one day, 12 hours. Evening bo bouts will reduce discontent, but sometimes fighters will get hurt. Or we can build a house of pleasure. Our hard-working people deserve all the relief we can provide, and some of them yearn for the pleasures of the flesh. Prostitutes can be employed in the public house to increase motivation. I don't think so. I think we can go with uh, heartier meals. Cocaine pills? 
Well, now. We need some workers in the public house. Motivation rises. nab these engineers and put them in here instead. As soon as they are done with this pile, which will be very early in the morning, we can put those 15 people in these two buildings instead. We do have enough Russians to do an evening service now. Listening to the words of our spiritual leaders raises everyone's motivation. Excellent. However, with a new day incoming, I think this is a good place to end the episode. So, uh, I hope that uh, this will be a successful venture. I have no idea what we're going to go up against here. So thank you all so very much for joining me, and I will see you all in the next episode.